Hey guys, what's up? My name is JC. I am Ron Strong, and we're having coffee with El Padrino. <laughs> now, I have a special story. I'm being selfish today that I'm going to share about myself and just pieces of my life that have actually planted the seed to make me become a better person throughout my journey of this whole change that happened. Let's get into this video. Hey, what's up? My name's JC. I am Ron the Strong. If you can't see it, it's right there. Hey, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell so you don't miss none of my shenanigans. Thumbs up, thumbs down. You already know. Hey, and if you're part of my crew, mi raza, mi familia, you already know. Suban la suburban. Let's talk about my past. It's story time with JC. Whenever I say story time, I'm gonna have coffee with me. Tastes way better than fucking Keefe coffee. <laughs> so I want to share a story about when I first first came home from federal prison, and this is when I was like fresh, fresh out. Uh, I had just got a house arrest, and I found um, an uncle of mine that let me uh, use his address and stay at his place. His uh, condo was located on Encanto and Central. Some really nice condos. But um, he, let me, he let me use the address, he let me move in because uh, you know I wanted to spend the holidays outside of the halfway house. So I made it just in enough time to spend Christmas and uh, New Year's there. I had just got home and you know I was uh, walking to work every day and I had to get up really really early because the bus doesn't run early enough in Phoenix for me to be able to, I had to get to the gym by 345 was my first client so I would get up and just walk all the way from Central Thomas all the way to 32nd Street and then cut down to Indian school so I had to leave pretty early I left an hour early so I would get up at 2 30 in the morning and start walking I would bump into a lot of crazy people at night, you know, I put on my headphones and just start walking and there was uh, my third day, my third day from walking to work, I was walking back home and it was about noon or one o'clock and I was just, I was walking and I turned over to where there's a, a station there where the train stops and I seen this man hitting a, a woman in the face just like a dude like just hitting her and he hit her like twice and there was like 20 30 people standing around and nobody everybody was just standing there like looking at him you know and he was trying to take her her phone at the time you know I, at the time i didn't know how expensive like smartphones were you know they were new to me at the time so i didn't really realize that they were worth you know a grand or whatever so he was hitting her trying to take her phone away and I just seen everybody standing there so I don't know I just reacted and I started to run across the street to the tracks and I grabbed him and he started running I lost grip of him and he started running into the side street 
and I grabbed him by his book bag and I just started just punching him in his ear. Punching him, punching him. I, I must have hit him like three or four times. But he managed to wiggle his book bag off me and you know I was just left with his book bag in my hand. The cops got there about five minutes later and you know he started questioning me and I was I was scared I was like terrified you know when he asked me for my ID I was literally shaking like uh, <laughs> like a crackhead giving him my ID you know and I'll never forget what he said you know and, and he asked me he's like why are you scared and I was like sir <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you I just literally got out the halfway house like three days ago and I'm on house arrest and I, I just kept on like trying to like, I guess me being in trouble for so many years, I felt guilty for something I shouldn't have felt guilty for because I actually thought I was going to go to jail because I, I punched the shit out the dude. <laughs> so uh, he looked at me, he tapped me on the shoulder and he's like, dude, you're the hero right now. You're the only one that did something. And he looked back at the crowd. He's like, where well, all these motherfuckers didn't do shit. And, you know, I was like, yeah, that's fine and dandy, sir. But I got to be back at my house by 2 o'clock or else, you know, they call. The halfway house calls and I go right back to jail. He gave me my ID. You know, the lady told me thank you. And, you know, I never seen the lady again. I never seen the cop again. And, and by the way, that, that stupid ass criminal <laughs> had his wallet and everything in his, in his book bag that he left behind. So, you know, I'm pretty sure they, they found him and everything. But the, the, the way that I, I, I felt was by him telling me that planted the first seed in me where I actually wanted to do what was right even when people were not watching or people just stand around and don't do nothing because for the first time in my life, I actually felt like I did something right. I knew I was gonna get emotional when I said that. You have, you have all these dudes trying to be like tough dudes and, and like portray like this, this, this cold hearted stuff. And you know what, it's, it's, it's not, it's not what it's cut out to be and, it, and it's like stop like stop doing that it's not it's not cool you know when i seen my best friend take his last breath and look at me for the last time that fucking shit changed me forever forever and then it happened year after year after year after year and this is what I mean. This is why I share my stories. This is why I, I tell you parts of my life and, and we talk about things because like I actually want kids to not walk where I walked. I don't want them to go through what I, what I went through because it scars you for fucking life. You don't understand how I feel sometimes when I see things, I hear things, I smell things. I have triggers that it's crazy. I could be watching a movie and it'll remind me of something and then I'll lose my shit. And I think I'm gonna be emotional about it for the rest of my life because I actually fucking care and I don't want nobody making the mistakes that I made. I don't want nobody to spend the amount of time that I spent incarcerated, in solitary, in gangs, doing drugs, lost, miserable, whatever you wanna call it. I don't want that for nobody and I don't wish it on my worst enemy so this is why I share my stories this is why I talk about my history this is why I talk about all the stuff that I talk about because hopefully I'll get to one of you fucking hard-headed motherfuckers and you'll see that it's not cut out to be what you think it is so stop being a fucking tough guy my name's JC I am wrong or strong don't judge nobody stay in your lane live savage and remember stay out of jail stay sober and I love you guys I'll catch you guys on the rebound